fall off. If y'all don't start commenting and sharing and subscribing, it's going to be me and y'all. Yeah. Stop playing with me. Comment. Hello, my fault. Go to the video. Hello. Bring some of that royalty. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Neek G, the host, and today I'm back with another reaction video. Before we go any further, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. You dig what I'm saying and what the goddamn hell you leave. So, before we even get into this video, I want y'all to know that I appreciate y'all a long way. You could be anywhere else, but you're here with me. And I want y'all to know, if you don't know, I appreciate y'all. You dig? Um, we about to get into Messy Monday. I heard it's a one, two, three, four, five situation. Now, if y'all was on Twitch, y'all would know. But you're not. So follow me on Twitch at Royalty's World. Twitch, excuse me, Twitch, twitch.tv slash Royalty's World CEO. Pull up. Okay. Now, let's get into this video. It is so much going on. But I ain't got nothing to do with it. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a whole lot of going on. It's a whole lot, a lot of going on. It's Monday. Hey creeps and welcome back to Messy Monday. As you already know, you can't sit with me unless you are POP and that is pretty on purpose. How y'all doing? Alright, so look, um, I know I missed last week's Messy Monday and I was about to miss this one too because it's just a personal reason with me. At the end of October and all of November, I get in a mood and it is just, it's people who know me know why. Um, and it's just, a, it's a reason. And I have to really like force myself to want to do anything around all of November. It's just, it's a thing, okay? And it's gonna be a thing for the rest of my life. Uh, <laughs> so um, yeah, I am gonna push through this for my babies, because I fucking love y'all. And um, I just gathered up a little bit of mess and we're gonna talk about it. And yeah, let's talk about it. But yeah, I had to detox too last week. I just had to get away from the mess. Because, uh, you know, just doing the mess all the time, just it's just mess. It is. So yeah. All right, bitch. Well, if it ain't about me, we put a key key. And uh, oh, I gotta give a shout out to my friend. My friend, hold on. Hey. Now, I just want to say thank you so much for having my post notifications on. It means so much to me. You commented on my Twitter, and I just want to say thank you so much for being so loyal and supportive. That means a lot, girl. So now I'm just taking the time out to point you out and say thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, bitch. All right, you guys. I'm not going to hold that up too long. It's going to get into y'all's favorite part, and that is the shit, honey, the sugar honey iced tea, because you girls... Love staying in some shit. shit. First of the sugar honey iced tea, we have India and Dirt. Now, y'all, I'm gonna be real with you. I didn't think it was gonna last this long. I thought it was gonna, you know, oh, whoop, 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 yada, 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 five business days, they got together. But girl, Miss India said, thank you. <laughs> and she left him where she left him, honey. And he came with her talking about, oh, baby, you finna be on Jeff Row. And she's very much like, I know you're lying. Enough okay. is enough, baby. You tried it for the last time. And I'm like, all right. When a bitch is done, she's done. So, girl, that brings us to... How many times you gotta get cheated on, friend? Mm -hmm. Today, and she still hanging with that fool. But that ain't none of my business. So, honey, she went to her Twitter and she said, I'm done healing. What a hole that. <laughs> But she turned back around and said she was hack, LOL, laughing, laughing, laughing. <laughs> Girl, yeah, you might want to pick that right on up because word of the curb is don't nobody want to fuck with her because they don't want to be little dirt's eye because they say he's sly. No. I mean, not only that, everybody around Neek, shut up. Well, I gather nope. on the other side of the curb is they say he don't fly. Well, all of that, I ain't got nothing to do with it. The only thing I know he is doing is sliding down that wall like the Milwaukee style because she ain't took him back yet. Ooh. 
Well, it is what it is. So, girl, I'm guessing she's still a free agent. She still ain't follow him. He ain't said nothing. But, you know, sometimes a girl has to learn her worth and know when it is time to let go. Because, you know, they say she's been dealing with all this for a long time, allegedly. They were saying, you know, he's been cheating, been doing it, been fucking around, been her on. And now she finally got the nerve to say, it's time for me to go. So, girl... I don't know, girl. It's just, you know, when you, I commend her because when you really love somebody the way that they was allegedly in love, you know, because, you know, we don't know what's going behind the closed doors, but dealing with something for that long and then you finally decide to say, you know what, I got to go. Kudos to fucking you because that means you finally learn your word. Hello. Derek. <laughs> <laughs> And then you got everybody yip yapping like, oh my God, she moved on already. How she move on? Whoop, 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 yada, yada, yada. I'm like, y'all, okay, so what? It's been months. These niggas move on the next hour. What the fuck is you talking about? Get up and get you a man. You know what I'm saying? No, don't go get you a man. Relax. It's okay. And what? We supposed to cry forever? Right. Please. Now, Please. don't get me wrong. Okay. I always believe in getting you one of them, you know, late night partners. Y'all already know because, you know, a bitch got needs too. But other than that, child, fuck all these folks. Fuck me, man. Fuck all that. Heal and get gone. Somebody said now she Dirt be at his a damn house. Somebody else instead of being a holy old man. Girl, right, he, how, was, how. he was never her man. Nigga. All right, y'all. Well, if it ain't about me, <laughs> India is in these streets. Next cat. Next for the sugar honey iced tea, we have Drea and Jania versus MB Youngboy. Now, Y'all have noticed that, you know, NBA and his girlfriend, they've been doing really good. Like, I think they live together. Don't they got, like, two babies together now? And this is, like, you know, a little different for NBA. Like, you kind of seem like you're trying to settle down or whatever the case may be. Yeah, I don't know if this girl has finally now. done it, but it seemed like she might have. I don't think that it's sitting right. Hey, NBA young boy, a Libra, y'all. With his other baby mamas. So, Drea came out on the internet and she decided to tweet these messages. Trade all the money in the world for my youngest daughter to have a father. I've been quiet. Today is the day, though. I ain't never met a gold digger who wasn't satisfied by money. And then she ended it off with speaking on everything but the main issue. Now, I don't know where all this came from, but she came on the internet and wanted to let off some steam. Then following her was this other baby mama, Jania. It's amazing seeing men be real fathers. Especially with me growing up without one, I just love to see it when kids have it. But boy, oh boy, us single moms are out here with no- Yo, I, 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 I have a question. Like, some women, they end up having sex with a guy, end up getting pregnant, didn't know him, didn't know nothing, right? And then it's like, damn, I made the biggest mistake of my life. But we all watch NBA Youngboy. I mean, we know him. Noisiest child in the world. Uh, we know him, you know, and I know just like we know him, they know him. So I'm just trying to figure out what the fuck was they missing. Like, he hasn't been there, like, as in every day physically for any of those children probably aside from the ones he had first um but other than that like literally that ain't the case so what we didn't miss i want to know why they missed it i don't understand no break no financial help literally making it come together we have no other choice woo, 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 yada 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 Shouts out to the single mom. That's it. what she said, right? So she didn't finish there. Fans started to, you know, commend her and show her support. She was just like, yeah, we thought that shit was going to be easy, but newsflash is not. And woo, woo, woo. Child got on back to the young boy. And honey, everybody know he going to say what the fuck he got to say. He don't care how he said, he going to say it. Waiting so in the lobby. Honey, somebody. Somebody. Damn, Wait. had her waiting in the lobby, smash some girl. And I remember when, uh, I forgot who ass he beat that day. But they had it on camera. To his manager's Instagram, and they posted this. If I said the truth, that wouldn't be played at all. Y'all would call me lame and fake. Stop. But nah, I'm fresher than something right now. I guess fresher than a bitch right now, like for real. Just need my nails redone on you, hoes, zesty. If I said the truth, that would be that wouldn't be played at all. Y'all would call me lame and fake. Stop playing with me about my kids with them dog ass hoes. It's funny to me, the truth, the truth. Stop playing with me about my kids with them dogs.
hoes. It's either you broke, can't keep a man, or want my or either touching 30 mad, the money ain't satisfying you. You done gold dig out of a baby situation. The same don't answer the phone for weeks and months, ignore me. But then wanna double back when you broke or ain't shit going they way. You can't manipulate talk. I'm a nasty female dog. Y'all some nasty hoes too. Bitch, let's play. My wedding is in January. We finna get it out the way now. Dre proceeded to say, We've all seen different versions of a person. Which is why one week is W Dad ETC in the next. You know what you signed up for. Anything to justify that behavior. Janir responded you to really Young did. Boy and said, you The sad part is, I wasn't even bashing anyone. I was giving mothers a pat on the back like it's always drama with y'all. No matter what I do, I always get connected to shit I don't want to be connected to. I hate that. So Young Boy chimed in again and he said, You know what you did. You ignored me for months, not trying to play with me on here because they call him gay sad. I beg for him. Single moms, you bum, you barely get booked. You live off his money. Y'all hoes. And you wouldn't Man. be talking like this if your ever wasn't sitting over there tore the fuck up. I know you. When you ain't got shit going on, you come for me, wanna be. Damn. I got rich off your dumb ass and still getting rich. I be rapping my ass off. No matter if I missed you or dissing you. I capitalize off good and bad. I Damn. am a real shooter. Your boyfriend, the whole. I was cool with him until he put my son out the car and made him walk. Now, mind y'all, do y'all remember? Or y'all remember? And see, this is why I kind of believe him. From what I gathered and word on the curb is, remember back then, y'all, when she had posted, uh, what she said? She said, it was somebody don't respect her child or don't take this word for word but remember it was she had posted when somebody don't respect her child um it's a done deal she's dead it's whatever you know what i'm saying like yeah her you put me and my child out the car bitch <laughs> y'all i would have been on tmz i sure would have the murder <laughs> nah for real like i know you ain't put me and my child out this car that's why women should always have their own they own dealing with these celebrity men like, women should be like, no, 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 I'm driving. No, 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 I'll catch my own coach flight. No, 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 I'll pay for the flight myself. Uh-uh, uh-uh, I got my return flight as well. Like, I don't understand the whole, like, yeah, let me just put my life in his possession right now. Oh, her child come first. Oh, my well-being. You disrespect her child. It's no, there's oh, no. My child's yeah, well-being. Y'all know what the fuck I'm trying to say. There's no excuse for it. So for young boy to come back and say this now, months later, remember? Months later saying, and see, and then I thought it was probably young boy like, oh, damn, he ain't taking care of a child. But maybe that might have been the case. But for young boy to come back and say this right here, that this man put her and her child out the car and make them walk. Okay. All in the court. That man put them out that car. Okay. Did you say me? I can't hear you. He ever put us out? Huh? He didn't. He didn't, right? What are these people talking about? That talking to me about $20? <laughs> They killed me putting the kids Ooh. in it. Now, child, the way she responded, I'm sorry, baby. It's not convinced to me. Why you over there cahoots that child to go up into your mess? And why you put that child in your wrong folks' business? Right. Keep that child out there whatever you and this well, they man love got going trying to on with this other shit. man and whoop, 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 and yada, yada, yada. I mean, like, if I could really prove it, then I'm just going to really prove it. But, child, that baby probably ain't even remember that shit. Keep that with child. Okay. I feel like that's why Jania and that man had that problem because she really was still communicating and dealing with YB. Same with these other girls. And it's just, I don't think he ever leave none of them alone. I think he's still dealing with them and he know he can have them if he wants like to have face. them. Y'all don't want to do this with me. Don't fucking lie on me dealing with my kids. Them and this money is all I got. So that was his message to his baby mother, Jania. He then addressed his baby mother, Drea, and this is what he had to say. Back to the it's too old, Joe too big just watching it shit laughing send my daughter damn it's too old Joe too big just watching it shit laughing send my daughter Nia had went live and baby J girl he caught up with the big that was that's new it's spilling <laughs> all the business he's a boy number two he's three years old that's always around his mother 
So when he starts school, which he will be starting school this week, he'll be around other boys. And on top of that, he lives with the man. So he sees basketball. He sees working out. He sees other things. But before that, it was just me and my mama. And don't get me wrong. Control did help me out with Casey. I'm not, I'm not going to even say help me out with Casey because that's his child too. Control was in Casey's life. Don't get me wrong. When y'all saw me out and he was with his dad a lot, whatever the case may be, that's what was going on. But from the time Casey was born up until the time that y'all started seeing him with him, it was all me. I was doing it myself with the help of my supporters, of course. But it was, it was me. I was buying milk. I was buying diapers. I was doing this. I was doing that. It was all me and y'all knew that. One thing I learned about men, they do not think about that part of, of uh, the childhood. Like, <clears throat> all right, I got to buy my baby milk. I got to buy him, um, you know, pacifiers, you know, just in case, you know, the other ones drop. Got to buy him bottles. Um, got to buy him coats for the winter. Got to buy my child tampons, my, girl, my little girl tampon. Oh, and excuse me, not tampons pads for a period or whatever because she's a girl or like, um... You know, now we got to get new shorts for the summer. Like, logically, they don't think about the logical things that they should think about. They want to buy, like, Jordans and shit when they come out. And, like, Yeezys when they drop. And walk around with them. And then send them back. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, the the logic part of it and what they should be buying, they don't. Not without so, ha having to be asked about it. Before Casey could talk. Shit crazy. And... I like, what you think the child eating? Said, Crazy. <laughs> Man. That's really irrelevant to this. Like, you're a or you opt out or you this, you that. All that is irrelevant when it, when we're talking about a child. You get what I'm saying? All that is irrelevant. And I never once said you're a bad dad. I never once got on here and bashed you. I never once said nothing. All I said was us single moms have it hard. Give ourselves a pat on the back. That's all I said. That's all I said. And somebody said, oh, well... Your help is a call away. And I said, no, it's not. Because it's the truth. When you're mad, you're mad. It's not nothing nobody can do to make you unbad until you're ready to be unmad. But anyways, you're saying that you've been calling me for months for KC and, you know, I'm not answering the phone or Why should you make a YouTube be. video for this? You and I both know hey, if I was to ask KC right now, if he wants to go to your house, he will say no. You know that. Every time Casey's at your house, he's calling me or I'm calling him and we're on the phone. He's asking me, where are you coming to get me? Where you at? Ma, come get me. Where you at? Ma, come get me. You know that. Matter of fact, he did say that he missed you. He did. And what I do? I had him call you on your birthday. You didn't answer the phone, nor did you text back. I text your people and said that. One take, one take. What's his name? The Sean. Where the basketball player at? The John. Where is he? Yeah. Did she just say that she lived with a man that played basketball and he see it? Our baby see it all the time. Where he at? Why he not there? Baby, just let it go. She better hush, but he leave again. Make him walk out. Because he playing basketball, he got work to do. Ah. <laughs> anyway, well, if it ain't about me, let's keep keeping this cane. Next to the Shigani Ice Tea, we have Blueface and Christian Rock. Now, I told y'all this was gonna happen. I said it was gonna get real ugly and real dark real fast, and it did. Because nothing good is gonna come from this toxic shit. And y'all sitting here praising this, like, ooh. <laughs> Yo, like, G45, sure. like, I don't like that. I don't want it, ooh. If it ain't like Blueface, I don't want it, ooh. Bitch, no, that shit is ew. That's fucking disgusting. That is not cute. It will never be cute. Now, if y'all sit here and praise and make that shit seem like it's cute, it's not. Now, his dick is cute, but that situation that I kept. Hi, you. You punched me in my mouth. What are you talking about? Punch me in my eye. Use a. Stop talking. Stop talking. So what? If I want to get away from you, let me get away from you. Don't pull me away. Don't pull me closer so you can hit me in my mouth. You sound dumb. You should have let me jump out. No, you want some weirdo. You bust my lip. You bust my lip. You bust my lip and gave me a black eye. Get out my face, bro. 
No, you're being weird. You're trying to be a you on my booking. You came to my booking to pick up my money to disrespect me. I'm trying to get out the car while it's moving because I want to get out the car. You bust my lip and give me a black eye because you're a What are you talking about? What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> the fuck is this is a busted lip, busted nose. You lying. Yo, I, I can't. I'm not going to lie. And for those who didn't see it, she came back and retracted the statement and said that um, she had a bad trip on tequila and was about to jump out the car. I can't even say that I don't believe her because alcohol will send you to another place. And then she'd be smoking weed and then I don't know what other drugs they'd be taking, all this rapper shit. I don't know. But I had a bad I, trip yesterday. I, I can't. Ooh, yada, yada, yada. Well, sweetie, you've done it again. All these people promoting this domestic violence bullshit is horrible, and that's why nobody takes the shit serious. Y'all say, oh, I'm toxic. I love toxic. I love this. But when you get hurt and you go back, I know it is harder to leave when you're in the situation. But when you look at yourself and see what is happening to you, when is it time to no, say, she I need have to let to alcohol go. And go? I know even with people with children, it's harder. She need to let it go. But you don't have any children with him. You have nothing with him. You're not married. You have no children. You have nothing. She holding. she lost her voice when um her voice was sounding like you that. There, Just but in her money and fame, and it's time to go. And that's why these cops and people don't take it serious because they're like, why won't you leave, friend? It's time. No, WAC one hundred said he he had Blue sign a deal to get a portion of her money. That's why he went and picked the money up. The thing is though. They got signed to, um, not signed to Zeus, but a show with Zeus. So it's their show. But um, the bookings and shit, I think like he's supposed to be at the bookings or whatever the fuck. Basically, they both really supposed to be getting paid from this shit. I just don't know how much he is getting over her. That's why she always talk about they making money together, but this ain't good money, friend. But you know why she you is don't want to go? Dying. Because now y'all have came up with this stupid ass show right here. I love you. I need you. No, I don't know if that fucking copyright. Yeah. Exactly where they want to be, baby. Until they want to leave. So honey, I hope they get, I hope they make all the money they want to make hurting each other, tearing each other down. I, listen, I do not feel bad for women who continue to let this happen and a lot of women will say it's not that easy to leave. I feel you. However, um, when you have, I feel like when you have access to certain things, you can leave faster and she be in situations where she be gone. And then she get right back in the situation with him. She don't have to live with him. You making your own money. Now get your own place. I just feel like you don't, a person can't have control over you unless you want to be controlled. And I just, I'm going to stand on that one. Okay. <laughs> Whatever the case may be. Like and some people like that type of shit. Some people like abuse. Some people like pain. Some people like um, being controlled. And I feel like that's what she liked. That's why a lot of times, you know, a lot of people like, why don't you get on the man? Girl, they going to do whatever the fuck they want to do anyway. But y'all let them. You know what I'm saying? So shit, what, what you want me to say? Like men are blatantly themselves. They just do what the fuck they want to do. The problem is as the female... Are you going to continue to let him do that? And if you are, I can't feel sorry for that. Companies that are picking this up to make it look like. I don't, I don't. If it ain't about me. Pray for Krishan Rock and Blue Face, baby. Okay. Next case. All right, you guys, that's all I got for the sugar honey iced tea. Let's get into this small mess. <laughs> so, okay, we got BB Cobb versus Tequila. Now, baby, this is awful. Girl, who the hell is these folks? <laughs> Y'all, who is these folks? This is given very much one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Miss, I don't know how it went down, what's going on, why the girls Ooh, the Why they the wasn't in the sugar, honey, I see. These girls that had a little beat a long time ago prior. What is this? I was doing a little surfing and walking around the street it's trying good. to get the word of the curb. Right. Man, girl, it's a mess. So this is Ari and Arrogant Tay's friend, right? So I don't know where, I don't know why it came to the end there. Don't get me lying, because y'all ain't gonna get me beat up in these streets. These girls from Atlanta, Fulton and Dorstro, baby. Wow. <laughs> it came to the end and this 
is what Vicky said. Now, I don't know where the beginning is, but I'ma just get where it was spicy. So Vicky said, well, since we talking about friends, let's talk about how you still fucking on her, but you all in all oh, respect one of her real friends. And I'm like, damn, what the fuck? And then Jaquela come back and say, girl, I ain't messed with that man I don't know how long. That's old news next. First of all, bitch, not really calling you a bitch, <laughs> but how you gonna... St girl. What? You fucking are uh, fuck on that girl, man, and you still in her face? You ought to be slapped. That is disrespectful. And if our girl, I don't, I don't know, like when they was doing that shit. But if Ari don't give a damn, <laughs> why do we care? No, you fucking lying. And then she goes, and says, "I don't talk to that man no more. I talked to that man." Years ago, and we are only friends now. Everybody in the world knows this. And why do you got that man's name in your mouth anyway? Well, first of all, why are you taking up for that man? If that man is, I mean, I understand he's your friend and friend, take up a friend with a friend, girl, you stole him from a friend, fucking on a friend, friend, and then you want to say, oh, don't talk about him because you his friend. Bitch, really? You shouldn't even be his friend. Ain't you our his friend? So if you are his friend, then why are you? Oh, that's how, oh, what time? Uh, uh, fuck. Is she still friends with Ari or not? Nah? I'm confused. Are they friends or not? Because, because you saying that's Ari old friend. So they not still friends because the math ain't math. Oh, on the respect. <laughs> they are still friends. Ugh. I, I don't know. Messy. I mean, that's so her baby like, daddy, not her man. She probably don't care. <laughs> and then you said anything I never even talked to. Niggas belong, a lot of niggas belong to the streets. And I just feel like when they do keep them in the streets, you know, but I ain't gonna lie. She did pass the nigga down, didn't she? <laughs> for 4 p.m., you mess with baby, but you in Jada face. Yo, the messing with baby definitely took me all the way out. I shit. forgot I seen this part. Give me my shit. Uh, Give on me my Instagram. shit. Give me my shit. Give me my shit. Give me my shit. <laughs> Get me the fuck out! Get me the fuck out of here! Get me out of here! <laughs> Y'all just sitting here talking like this is not cool. his hair done fail. To be fucking on people, niggas, even if they ain't with the niggas, but you in these people's face acting like y'all friends. You know the fuck what, girl? Jada was probably like, what? You got me fucked up, bro, bro, at her baby shower, but you fucking on her baby daddy. And then my thing is, so whoever snitched on old girl smashing little baby, why the fuck you ain't tell Jada? Like, why Why are y'all even cool with me? You know what I'm saying? When y'all are sleeping with our niggas. <laughs> y'all sleeping with they niggas. They the ones with the money. Them bitches would be control all and the fuck deleted. You know what? And then what makes it so sad is y'all been holding this shit in. Right. So if y'all never would have fell out with each other, would y'all have told this shit? No. Would y'all have? That's the, no. that's the scary shit. This is Fuck people scary. Fuck. No, they wouldn't have. <laughs> with a lot of people because people will be in your face and smile in your face and be doing some dog ass shit behind your fucking back. Because if these two girls never would have fell out, nobody would have known this. Y'all never would have spilled the tea, but y'all over here knowing who you fucking and fucking on who and fucking and fucking and fucking 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 and fucking, and then bitch, now you wanna tell who fucking what you fucking asshole. So then Vicky said, "Girl, you say everything. Let's say how you wanted to." And I guess it says end yourself when you found out that whoever went back to his bitch. I'm just like, it's y'all stop marking shit out. I can't see. I ain't like, <laughs> talking shit, but y'all wanna hide shit. That nigga said, "Stop marking shit out." <laughs> Exactly. That's why you can't trust these bitches. They will tell all your information. Do you hear me? It's, Everything. It's crazy. They don't wrote this. They don't wrote this. Talking about the girl mama on crack shake. Never see her mama talking about the OBG. Why is she? She threatening to expose all the rapper niggas she don't fuck with. She's out here saying, "Girl, you never want to play this album game with me." Cause bitch, first of all, sweetie, <laughs> all you can talk about me is being adopted and my daddy and things like that. But girl, I can talk about you and all the niggas you fuck and how y'all girls over there sharing these panties, funny. And I said sharing panties. Why not sharing panties? Ain't no way. 
don't know. I don't want to get to all this carrying on because, child, that is just so toxic. But word on the curb is they did get into a little altercation, whatever the case may be. So Vicky goes to her Instagram and she was just like, okay, I pulled up on that hole and they ain't do shit. I popped up on that stage and ain't nobody do nothing. I say on oh, my baby, every time I see you, it is up. So then Vicky comes back and says, girl, if you gonna run on stage, you should have practiced. Is your wig okay? Because I had a hand full. Girl, you know what? After today, it's over with because I done slunk you off the stage. I don't even want to do this no more. And that's what makes me feel, well, did Vicky lose? Because to Kayla, you know, when you lose, you always say, every time I see you, it's up. So why does Vicky want to say it's up every time she sees her? Because if you want, it's not, it's no need to be up when you see this girl again. So they so had a child, fight? I don't know. This is a whole, a whole lot of, I feel already better watch their friends, stay away from their friends. These girls, you can stay away from all these girls and stop girling with the girls because the girls is girling. And honey, it's just a whole, a whole lot of stuff. Sharing underwear is beyond. I don't even know, chat. Like, who be like, who got some drawers in here? I need some drawers. <laughs> like, just throw on your shorts. <laughs> Go yeah. on. Change. Everybody, no. let's keep it. Hey! Next little duck, we have Kanye West. Now, baby, I can't oh. get into all this because it is just so much. Every day it's another post, another post, another post, another post, another post, another post. And I'm not gonna sit here and do a two hour long session talking about Kanye West. Y'all don't see Wendy. And if he got drink champs in here, baby, it's a done daughter. Okay. Okay, Drink Champs got they video. Williams or anybody other show and get for two people copyrighted and shit. They cut that shit down to 30 minutes. Y'all at least y'all get almost an hour. But anyway, so we all know Kanye made the uh statement about the Jewish people, whatever the case may be, woop woop woop, and it upset a lot. But before we get there, I just want to get to the part where he made the stuff about Harriet Tubman a long time ago. Nobody got outraged. Granted, the black people should have when he said that, you know, slavery was a choice. Granted, yes, black people should have went into an uproar, stopped buying stuff, do this, and let him know, hey, you hurt us, right? But just like other races, they forgive their person and they stick beside their race. I'm not trying to say we need to all stay divided or whatever the case may be, but when it comes to sticking beside my people, don't do that, okay? So we, we did forgive him and we, you know, whatever, Kanye going through his episode. So that's why I hate when people, let me just keep going. So then uh, he said the, you know, the White Lives Matter situation where that upset the black people again, right? And, you know, he was uh, supporting Trump. He upset the black people there. But everybody has a right to support and and vote for whoever the fuck they want to vote for. Facts. If you want to vote for Trump, vote for Trump. If you want to vote for whoever, vote for whoever. You can't tell somebody who they can vote for, right? Facts. Anyway, so he never was still canceled by the black community. When, if you were that up upset, stop listening to the music. Stop doing this. But like I always say, we be the first to not support our person. Just like with uh, Trump, when he allegedly was supposed to have the Proud Boys and all them storm the Capitol, this, this, that. He stood behind his folks who did it, stood behind them. And that was hate. That was evil. That was a mess. They stood behind Trump after all the hateful and evil things he said. Even though he might have done good stuff with like money for the country, whatever case it be, but his heart to me is not pure for everybody. But they stand behind him. Trump's heart is not pure for anyone. And that's what people don't get. I don't even think with Trump it's a race thing. I think it's a, a humane thing. I think if he could run the world and like do whatever he wanted to all people, he would. But um, Trump sees a dollar sign, not anything else. It's all about the money. If it ain't about the money, that's all it's about for Trump. So if it's some business like or well, business minded people and they black, I think he fuck with them. Is this if it's some business minded people that's white, I think he fuck with them. And whoever else. Now that Migo thing, come on, bro. The whole wall, like I don't even like talking about Trump or anything political, but I'm just saying I think he's more so about money. Right or wrong, even with anything else. So now Kanye makes us think, but nothing ever happened to Kanye. No companies ever turned against him when he said that um, 
slavery was a choice. We were mad, so why didn't Gap and Balenciaga and the bank and all them throw him out when he said that about us? Why? Why? We have the Why didn't they throw him out when he said slavery was a choice or the George Floyd situation? Why? It was George Floyd was big when y'all was talking about it on the news. It was bringing y'all views, but why didn't you do nothing to him then? Because I'm sorry, I, I am Team Kanye, but I feel like that's why he was trying to show y'all a little thing saying white lives matter because he did all this stuff about blacks, George Floyd, do 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 do, and nobody did nothing. But now that he's talked about the Jews or all this other stuff, now it's like let's take him down. Let's do this. And guess who is right there with them? The black community. Let's bring him down. I know y'all gonna hate me in the comments, whatever the case may be, but I'm all for standing for your people. But if it didn't hurt anybody, he has an opinion. He can look at history however he wants to and decide what's what. And he, you can have an opinion. You can have a voice as long as, long as you're not hurting anyone. He didn't say nothing like, Fuck the Jews, fuck this, this, that. And when he did say that, uh, I'm a go, whatever, whatever, that was a little push in the edge or whatever the case may be. But like I always tell people, when you voice your opinion and have your freedom of speech, it still brings consequences. But I just wish my black people would just, I just wish we would not be so quick to write our people off in situations, um, even though he did say some dumb shit, we say some dumb shit to each other. Nah. <laughs> Kanye literally took that man's death, put it on fentanyl when we all watched what happened and just insensitively was like, nigga, if I say this about this, I ain't going to get canceled. If I say this about that, ain't shit going to happen to me. Nigga, I'm a billionaire. Like, why should I listen to you? I mean, the disrespect of the things that he said and, and the confidence behind it. <laughs> other two, just like other races say dumb shit I get to each what he's other saying, sometimes and they're but, frustrated and mm, mad about shit mm. and feel like your own people aren't helping you. I had that situation with the LGBT community and I was like, fuck it, I don't want to do shit with them. You know what I'm saying? Because you're mad. But anyway, so he starts losing all this stuff. You know, he loses, he Money. loses Gap, Balenciaga. Everybody pulls off. Higher people are saying, hey, stop doing business with him. His bank comes out. Just so much mess. But mind you, I truly, 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 truly feel like all this is just a plan. I, I feel it. Because if you look at it, and it's before he even posted that shit today. We don't have nobody at high places that can just build and be, hey, you need me. Like he said, all my farmers, all my professors, all my nurses, engineers, architects, financial engineers, buy Appreciate the follow, land, friend. build the future. Cause like, we, we, we want to cry about everything. Like, oh, it's not going our way. It's not doing this. If these rappers would just take their fucking money, go back to the hood or wherever you came from and build a school. Build a police station. Hire all your black police officers. Um, you know what I'm saying? Go out and vote for your um whoever you feel is right or whatever. Build your own city. Build, build, build. Land is out there. Build it. We have black doctors. We have black nurses. Why would a rapper or somebody big say, hey, all my black doctors and nurses who got your degree. He must not know the history of black people and when they build their own things. I think a lot of people don't know the history of it, but the history always repeats itself. At some point in certain situations, 333 in the chat, at some point in certain situations with having a lot of money comes a lot of sacrifice. And it's always somebody that's richer than you. So, yeah. I'm gonna build a hospital and we're gonna come here and work on our people. You know what I'm saying? It, it's <sighs> I'm sorry guys. I just see his bigger picture because one thing about me, I don't judge people. Does he say some stupid shit? Yes, sometimes he says 
dumb shit. But sometimes you gotta, you have to, when you have a plan and you're strategic about it and you know this is gonna cause this, but my ripple effect at the end is gonna be for this, then you do it because you have to show, you, I feel when he did the slavery was a choice and all of that, I, I, I don't know, maybe, he, I, I don't know, maybe cause sometimes when you've never been through something, or you're trying to process stuff and figure out stuff and you think in your head, oh, this is right, this is right, but then when you verbally say it and people teach you, then it's like, okay, I get it because I was thinking this way, but you never know until you speak up. Something. It was probably a possibility that um, Kanye was trying to get fired by all the people that he works worked for. Now, if that was a part of the plan, cool, but I get that, right? But why piss off the black community too? So if you're not trying to get the Jews to buy your shit and you're not trying to get the white people to buy, oh, excuse me, yeah, he is. You're not trying to get the black people to buy your shit. Why piss off the white people? <laughs> like, or, or why piss off everybody? How about that? Because he'll say white lives matter, but ended up saying something about the Jews. And like, that's still a color thing, y'all. We all still are a shade of white or black or brown whatever you want to go by. So you still pissing off that, that portion of people. So if you was deciding, you know what? I want them to fire me and I want to build my own shit and I want people to buy the shit from me, not from Adidas, not from whatever. I want my own Kanye farm, my own Kanye grocery store, my own Kanye. Where the hell are you going to put it? <laughs> you just pissed off literally the Jews and you just pissed off the black community and it's a portion of the white uh, excuse me probably 80 to 90 percent of the white that is absolutely with the Jews nigga who you gonna sell your shit to I don't understand like I feel what people saying it's a part of the plan but who gonna who gonna who gonna how you gonna sell it I don't understand it sometimes you gotta speak and say something that's wrong the part that's missing for right. me I don't know but I just feel the way he did it, because that contract he had with Balenciaga and Adidas, I think it was Adidas, whatever, it was shitty. So if was. they're not going to let you out, let me get myself out. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Uh, I know a lot of people were upset because he didn't apologize to the black community or whatever the case may be with the George Floyd and the, and the slavery was a choice stuff. And then when he did apologize, it's like you want to say, oh, God had to humble me, da, 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 but you gave everybody else a really good, sincere apology. So before God, what I would do is start off as a samurai and say, I'm sorry for hurting you as a Jewish person. I'm sorry for the way that made you feel. And I'm sorry for the entire uh, population of a race that I feel is actually my brothers because I classify and feel that I'm also connected with Christ in that way that my people came from Africa and that way. And I can't say it's this exact teaching or that exact teaching, but I feel that there's an important you know, the sons of Abraham, however we want to word it, right, for us to come together and bring our different talents together to serve God collectively. And he, as much of an alien as I am, he does not cause me, he did not call for me to alienate. That, and I, and I, and I question the death of George Floyd. It hurt my people. It hurt the black people. So I want to apologize to hurting them because right now God has shown me by what Adidas is doing and by what by what the media is doing i know how it feels to have a knee on my neck now so if you know how it feels to have a knee on your neck you apologize to the black people um why wouldn't he if he wanted to build his own empire instead of using adidas and blah 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 why wouldn't he be like well i did this though to promote whatever the fuck He's about to drop now, you know, and maybe I'm thinking too far ahead, but I don't. So I thank you, God, for humbling me and letting me know how it really felt, because how could the richest black man ever be humbled other than to be made to not be a billionaire in front of everyone off of one comment that actually, if you look at the definition of DEF CON, it means to get extra defense, exactly. which Very obviously true. I must have needed. Yeah. It's like sometimes the people who love you, we don't treat them 
with the most respect that we would with somebody else. It's like, oh, we know they love me. We, I know they get me. But no, them are the people you need to keep closer. You know, I don't know. Um, I, this is, I, I don't went off into just talking instead of just sticking to my, okay, he did this, and then Kanye made that, and then somebody responded, and then this. But y'all been watching it. Y'all been seeing what's going on. And I really don't. I promise you. I re- Like, that's why he, I feel he built the school. He got his church. Um... He, I really believe he's going to come out with his own clothing line. He's going to uh, probably open up his own bank. He was trying to get his own app. Like, so we can have our... He could have did that without shitting on anybody. Own voice. <laughs> I don't know. I just... Nobody is going to look out for the black community like they look out for themselves. It's okay to want to be a rapper. It's okay to want to be any of that. But I encourage all of you, if you don't know what you want to be in life, go to school, focus. I don't know where this is taking me on Messy Monday. I'm sorry. Go to school, focus, uh, uh, get a trade, be a doctor, a nurse, an architect, like he said, be that. And, and, and invest into yourself and then into your community. And so, therefore, you don't have to go out to other people to do, like, uh, we build buildings. We do the... <sighs> I was supposed to be talking about Kanye West, honey. Where did this go from Kanye? <laughs> you know, you know, Kanye. But it's because I, I see his vision and me also being a Gemini. I know sometimes we react without thinking. We say things without thinking and then we do gotta come back and apologize. Or when we really know what the fuck we stand on and what the fuck we mean, we're gonna, I don't give a- Yeah, Gemini's just have a fucked up way of showing it. Fuck what you feel and how you feel. I'm gonna say what the fuck I wanna say and it is what it is. I'm just gonna deal with the fucking consequences. But guess what? I'm a hard ass fucking worker and I'm gonna get myself back on this fucking top. And y'all gonna see the fuck I was talking about. And that's like how we are. And is he dealing with mental stuff too? Yes, because when you see what's going on and you know what's going on, because mind you, we are on the outside. One, 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 when you're on the inside with the money people and you hear the shit and you know what's going on and you know what they're doing to you because they're not as vocal as him, but they're saying shit behind the scenes, it will frustrate you. So like, imagine when you're on the internet fussing with somebody, right? And they're just talking shit, talking shit, talking shit behind your back and all the circle know, but you don't, you're just like, I gotta say something because people are like, just ignore them, just ignore them. And then he says stuff and he says stuff, but we don't know because he's talking in cold and we think he looking stupid because ain't nobody else talking to him, but we think it's just him talking to himself or just going on a rant, but really it's probably people in, the, I don't know. I just, yeah, I just... Because I was about to count him out, too. But I said, no. The man, no. He's just dealing with bullshit, which is now, I do feel, has messed with his stable, his mental stability or whatever the case may be. But I don't think he's crazy, and I don't think he's on drugs. But I do feel he's going through a lot while either. trying to also push through, get to where he wants to... Love's over, but we just... We ain't getting nowhere. <laughs> um, that was the end, y'all. I just I can't. Zo, uh, I I get where Zo coming from, especially seeing where another Gemini is coming from. Because if a Leo talking, baby, I understand exactly what a Leo is saying. But if you for the community and you you want us to have our own, then don't shit on us. That's just crazy. But. Y'all let me know what y'all thinking down in the comment section below. I am done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hell yeah.